Back through the dough, back full of smoke Sit back, relax, and max with the hoes Chat with my folks, laughing and jokes I'm hard to the core and she bad to the bone Alright guys <laughs> I'm gonna be using the James Charles palette So If you don't got it, I'm gonna show you the colors I'm gonna use So you can use like other alternatives because this palette, I think, was $40, I think. It was $40. Sarah. Uh-uh. I don't know who was calling me. Anyway. So, the first color I'm going to go in with is You're Kidding, which is like a red shade. So. Oh, whose hair was that? Not mine. So I'm going to go on with this red color right here, right here, here, right there. And the brush that I'm using, I got these brushes from um, Amazon and it was like $13. It came in a pack of 50. It comes with like 50 of them. So yeah. So we're going to go into that color and we're going to put that color right in our crease right now. Before we do that, um, what I used on my lids um, to have the color stay on because I was trying to get the P. Louise base, but I did not know she was based in the UK. So I bought this new um, concealer by Tarte. It's the creaseless concealer right here. Right here. And this is in the color Deep 50H. So, I put that on my lid, but, like, use a little bit because, y'all, this shit was crazy. It's really, like, it's strong. It's real strong. Like, you don't want to put too much on. So, I'm going to go in with this brush that I used from the set. It's, like, a fluffy brush, kind of, but I use it to put my concealer on. I'm going to go in with this little fluffy brush, and I'm going to spread out my concealer on my eye. This concealer is really, really, really thick, so I'm not going to lie to you. It was kind of hard to blend this shit out, but we made it work, so. Now, ooh, almost dropped my damn palette. Jesus Christ. Now the color we about to go in is, you're kidding, the red shade that I showed you earlier. So we're going to go in our crease with that color. So what I do is I make like a little half semi-circle shape because my eyes are really small so I have to like you know figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do so what I did was I just so I know I have my crease starting right here like in the depth of my eye so I start packing on that red color That's another thing. When I was using these colors, I think the concealer low-key makes the colors look darker, but I don't really care. And then I just make, like, a half circle. Just following the shape of my eye, basically. So now I'm going to go in with um, the cis color. It's like a it's like a bright orange. And I'm going to blend that out right on top of the color that I just used. So I'm going to go in with this orange right here. And I'm going to go in with this brush that I that came with my little set or whatever. 
remember I'm gonna blend it right on top of the red so what I do is I pack it on first since the concealer is really really thick and then I blend it out because when I did my other eye when I just started blending it out it was really hard for me to blend it out because the concealer is so thick I think I'm gonna use a different concealer next time but that shit was hard like damn I couldn't do it couldn't do it just a warning for you guys uh oh I have like hmm. okay And now I'm going to start blending it out. So now I'm going to go in with that red color again. And now we can start, you know, doing the windshield wiper motions, you know. So you're just going to blend that upwards. Kind of like drag it up. You're going to technically have to drag it if you use this concealer, just saying, because damn. This shit was like an arm workout for me, like damn. They ain't had to do that. They did not have to do that. After that shade, I'm going to go in with this like it's called boutique um i'm gonna show you guys and i'm gonna put that a little bit below the red that i just put on it's the shade right here oops right here <laughs> my bad we're gonna go in with that color and we're gonna put it in our crease and i'm gonna use that same orange brush that well i'm not gonna use the same orange brush but since it comes in a pack of 50 i have another i have like a five other brushes that look like this so I'm gonna go on with that color and I'm gonna put it right below the red I like this palette I needed this palette in my life shit yes honey yes I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit because you want everything to look blended and I added this color because I wanted to add a little bit darkness, a little bit of depth to my eye. Because you know we're going to be doing a cut prints. <laughs> so, me, I look down and I try to see like where like my eye socket goes in. And it's like right about, I want to say right here somewhere. That's where I see it like dive in. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to make my shape. Seems about right. And then I'm just going to fill it in. I'm not going to... Oh, you Lord Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I had to fix that. I'm not going to cut it all the way down because we're going to blend it on that side. So there's no need for you to cut all the way to the other side. stop worrying about there so before we dive right into that color or dive right into the colors of the crease we're gonna go in with love that which is like a magenta a dark magenta color we're gonna go in with this little purple color and we're gonna blend that outer part so everything looks all nice and even we're gonna go in with this color right here and then I'm gonna use the brush that I use for the red, I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to go in. Actually, I lied. I used a different brush. Um, I used this musty, dusty, crusty brush right here. 
<laughs> no name brand no nothing it just says shadow on it so um, I'm gonna go in with that purple color and I'm gonna just start packing it on a little bit and then blending it if you guys hear something like running in the background it's my fan because my setup as you can tell by the background is in my garage <laughs> I haven't got a backdrop yet but what I do we're gonna cover that and you know we're gonna look cute but yeah I'm in my garage because that's where I have the most space my mom just cleaned it out for me so I'm gonna get a backdrop in a couple of days and yeah I need a fan on before I'm gonna die and my makeup is gonna look like heart hot garbage so we can't have that so I'm gonna go with that same brush that I use all I did was like tap it off and I'm gonna go in with this electric pink color it's not called electric pink I have like the little sheet with me but I'm tired of just looking back and forth so we're not gonna do that so I'm gonna go in with this neon pink right here and I'm gonna put that in the beginning of my crease and I tried to use like a skinny flat brush like this but it came out so ugly. Who keeps calling me from Georgia? Stop. We finna go on with that paint. And you're just gonna pack it on. All right, I'm gonna go back in with that dark magenta color that I used at the end, and I'm gonna start blending it in with the electric pink. Oh, this concealer is like so hard to blend out. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. I think this is decent. We get somewhere. Cool. So now I'm going to go back in that brush that I used for the, the red brush that I used for my crease. I'm going to go in with this dark purple. And I'm going to put that in my crease to darken it up a little bit. So now we're going to do our wing. And I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner. And we're going to draw a wing. Y'all, the lashes I have on were like $3. Like, so bomb. I got them for the freaking hair store like yes drugstore we love we stand <laughs> Now I'm going to go with my lashes. I'm using um, Iconic Lashes by INV. I'm going to go with these. And the lash glue I'm using. Oof, Jesus Christ. Mm. The lash glue I'm going to use is Duo. So I'm going to do my face off camera and then we're going to be back with the finished look. So, on my mental. <laughs> Alright, we back. 
We back in action. Yes. So this is the finished look. All I did for my bottom for my bottom line is I put the magenta and the electric pink color under my eye and then I put my better than sex mascara on and I put on a white eyeliner by Kiss Cosmetics. And then on my lips, I have Beauty Mark by NYX Lingerie lipsticks. I put a little bit of lip gloss on top of it, but like it's like some lip gloss from the hair store. So honestly, you can use any type of lip gloss. So, but this is the final. But this is the finished look. Uh, my highlighter, I am using a gold shadow from Mac. Uh. I forgot the name of it, so I'm gonna have to find that because it's really, really old. Honestly, I don't even know if they have it anymore. But yes, you know, just in case you couldn't come up, you know, with some shit for Valentine's Day. Here you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you know, click the little bell or whatever if you want some notifications. Cause why not? Ha ha. Uh, I'll see you guys next time and I'm gonna do a Fashion Nova haul for Valentine's Day. Actually, it's like, okay, so I got like four dresses from Fashion Nova because I couldn't pick one and they was having a sale. So we just gonna do, I did, I did a little haul and got, you know, some shit from them. So that video will be out soon, but tomorrow, tomorrow is the big day. Okay, tomorrow's the big day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be vlogging my tattoo session. So, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys next time.